Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a special edition of the Escape Pod. That's Andrew. Thank you for escaping with us. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Andrew. I'm Alex. And as always, with great power comes great one-year ability. It is our one-year anniversary. Woo! This is our 52nd episode. We've officially done this for one trip around the sun. I couldn't be more excited about it. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling jazzed. You ever feel jazzed? I have felt jazzed. I feel. Are you feeling jazzed currently? I think I'm pretty jazzed. I'm pretty jazzed. So, I, I just, I, I don't know how we can commemorate this year properly. I do want to ask you, what do you, has there, you know, we're a debate show. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that I've maybe convinced you on this year? That maybe no, like, no. Comes to your <laughs> absolutely not, dude. If anything, you've made me double down on my opinions more. Um, oh, maybe. Wait, let me think. Could you have been convinced about Cars too if I wasn't no. so obnoxious? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know, dude. No. <laughs> okay. You you might have convinced me that it's like okay, uh-huh. which I I probably think, but yeah. like you have solidified my hate for that. Like, there's no way I'll ever be like. There's no way if my kids came home and were like, Dad, we love Cars too," that I wouldn't disown them. And the, <laughs> and I would tell them it's Uncle Alex's fault. Um, you've convinced me that I should watch Andor. That one's good. But uh, you still haven't. I still haven't. <laughs> so you haven't convinced me enough, dude. Um, yeah. Have I convinced you of anything? Yes, but not what you're thinking. I've convinced you that I have a big penis? No. No. Uh, you, I you didn't don't. Need, I didn't need any convincing to believe you've got a big penis, baby. Here's something you convinced me of. You have convinced me how much you have convinced me of two things: how much of a hater I am, and how hypocrit- hypocritical I can be. <laughs> like, like, absolutely. But I'm not moving. Like, I'm not like my stance on the prequels and your stance on the prequels are very different. But my stance on some of the Last Jedi fights or some of the sequels fights is the same point as your prequel fights point. And I get that I'm being hypocritical because I argue against it for the prequels, but I argue for it with the sequels. Same thing with like Cars 2, how it's just fun, but then I can't Speaking of. hold the prequels to the same standard. Yeah, yeah. literally watching what? the Danny episode, like I just made the short. Yeah. I just gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. We're like... I ask about Cars 2, and Danny and you both are like, yeah, it's not very good. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but, like, it's fun. And sometimes, you know, that's all I need. I don't, like, I just need to have some fun. And then, like, you can't just have fun with the prequels fights. Frick you. Yeah. yeah, No, you've, like, (laughs) absolutely done a very good job of pointing out how hypocritical I am. I'm not going to change. No, yeah, no, of course not. But, like, in my defense, prequels fans do not think the prequels are just fun. No, they're wrong. Like, some people will tell you, with a straight face, not only will they tell you Revenge of the Sith is the best Star Wars movie, they'll tell you it's the best movie of all time. I mean, I understand it being people's favorite movie. We know somebody mutually who's a creator, Revenge of the Sith, they say is the best movie of all time. Mm Mm-hmm. 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 No, he doesn't. Yes. We'll ask him when we have him on the We got to have him on the podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can't. Is there anything? Is there like any MCU movie you've convinced me is better? <gasps> Not really She-Hulk because you just watched it. Yeah. But She-Hulk was something you refused to like at the start of the year. And then you watch it. And you were well, like, I just, oh, I, I just yeah, hadn't finished it. You maybe convinced me to like finish it. And yeah. then I did like it. It's great. Um... No, but I haven't convinced you that Shang Chi's bad. No, yeah, I your point on that is stupid. You, uh, oh. To like Homecoming, I, if anything, no. I've made you like Homecoming less. Yeah, you you've done a lot of helping me negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've hurt you. <laughs> I've had a bad. You've helped me realize how good my opinions are. Is what I've had thought. a bad influence on you. Star Wars, Harry, like Harry Potter, maybe because I don't remember the Harry Potter movies enough. Like Deathly House Part Two, you're not going to convince me of, but like. Maybe I shouldn't like Order of the Phoenix as much. Like, I can't remember. No, Order of the Phoenix, the movie is great. The book sucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know then. Any Pixar stuff? No. Yeah. 
You suck, dude. Maybe get better at arguing. I'm bad at my job. Clearly. Because I think my job, right? My job at this point is just convincing you of my takes. So I've done a worse job than you. But I haven't really convinced you of anything. But you've convinced me that I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good well, for me. We'll Good for move me. on. Um, I've got a couple things planned. Uh, I, As a surprise to you, I've got prepared our favorite seg- your favorite segment ever. Agree, disagree? Agree or disagree. So shall we pull out the sure. cards? Let's do it. Guys, thanks for hanging right, around. Right, for, right, oh, right. yeah, I'm an idiot. Thanks for hanging around for a year. Yes. You guys have... I've said it once, I've said it a million times, you guys have completely changed my life, and I can't thank you anymore for that. Uh, These 10 are all uh, fan-suggested. Continue to suggest they agree or disagree. 99% of them are fan-suggested. These were my 10 favorites that I read. I loved these. You ready? I'm ready. Stranger Things Season 5 will be the most watched Netflix show ever. Three, two, one. Disagree. disagree. Why? Because because if season four can't beat Wednesday, I'm upset. And I don't think season five will. I think it's got a chance. I, I think Stranger Things crushes as it should because yeah. it's awesome. Uh-huh. Frick you. Uh, yeah, that should be, should be something I convince you of. Like that, it's, that Stranger Things is not a kid's show. I've been like told I'm going to love season one and I've been told that I'm going to hate everything else. Perhaps. I think you should like season three. I'm totally fine with you hating season two and disliking season four. Yeah. I think season three is really I good. I will say, I've seen the memes, the uh, Vecna and she's singing and she's doing this and they're doing the up the hill and this and that. I see that and I think it looks so bad. No, like, that's, I, I freaking love that. And I, I know that people are like, that's the best scene ever. I see that and I go, that is so stupid. Why? Obviously, I have no context. Why? I have no context. But seeing this very handsome man under all these prosthetics and he's tied to a tree or something. And then seeing this girl do like this and then they put music on her. They put headphones on her head and all of a sudden she's able to run away. That is stupid. That's, oh dude. You're Without so, you're, the context, you're such that a is hate. my reaction. You're such a hater. I have no context. You're such a you hater. You can't understand. I'm sure that there are many things out of context. Oh, have you, have you that ever? That seems epic. Have you ever, um. Heard of the show The Away? No. Okay. I can't remember if it's a Netflix show or something. The the uh, Lucius Malfoy's in it. My friend tried to show it to me. I thought it was the stupidest thing in the world. Lucius Malfoy as Lucius Malfoy? No. Like he Jason hops, Isaacs. Oh, he doesn't hop universes? No, he's he's in it. The actor. Does he bring um, Bobby? But, uh... uh Do you think uh, I look like this sometimes? You think I make that face sometimes? Yes, absolutely. So, in The Away, there's a scene... Where, oh, Phyllis from The Office is in it. She did jump. She, she, so yes. she's just Phyllis. Yes. Okay. Um, there's a school shooting. Like, there, there's a guy that's about to shoot up a school. And then the six main characters. And then Lucius comes in and goes, about a cadaver. No, not quite, but close. <laughs> the six main characters, they do like an interpretive dance. And this is literally what they're doing. And then the school shooting stops. And it's like, without the context of the show. I didn't watch that far, so I have no context. So when he showed that to me, I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. He's like, no, it's amazing. Without context, that sounds like the stupidest thing in the world to you. That sounds pretty stupid. So that's what I'm explaining the Stranger Things thing being. Like, I think without the context, I think that sounds really stupid. It's not. Oh, she's in a other dimension with this. She's very- not in an other dimension. Her like mind and soul are, and like having something that connects her back to reality. And the only reason they know that's her favorite song is because one of her friends is like, are they're like dating, and he knows that, and they have to like they figure it. They figure that like a different group of friends. Like this is why Stranger Things is awesome. Is because like all of it connects, and like you have different groups of friends doing different things. One group of friends figures out that this is something that can help, and then they have to like call, and like he is running up the hill to her. And like as she's floating and just gets it on her and turns the song on and then she has to like it opens up a portal for her and she has to run back. It's epic. Yeah, dude, you're gonna love like an actually good show. Like when I finally get you to I'm watch gonna Fonte kill you. Hill House or Andor or something. Like those are gonna blow have your fun. mind. Have fun. Have fun. I'm sure it's fun. Have fun. I still again. Eleven's awesome. Max yeah. is awesome. Do you know her full name? Eleven. Yeah. I know the name she was given at birth. The was actress. Like- Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah, but do you know what it is in full? Millie Bobby Brown. No, it's Millions Bobbert Brownathan. I wish I didn't know that. 
It's not actually millions. Are you fucking serious? What a ridiculous... What, what a ridiculous joke to make. I know. It's a running bit with me and my buddy back home. Like, I, I don't know why I told that to you, but we that we never referred to her as a real name. We always called her millions. But do Yeah, no, no. Good but it one. was... It, yeah, no. All right. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it'll be the biggest show in Netflix history. Um, do you want me to turn on the air? Are you getting hot in here? It's very cold outside. Continue. Okay. Jason Momoa will be Lobo in the DCU. Three, two, one. Agree. Uh, did you Agree. see the interview moment where he was like, Yeah, what's upcoming? Fallon. It's a real dream of mine is coming true. Yeah. I think James Gunn might make it happen. I said agree just for the meme. Uh-huh. Like, let's just all believe it's going to happen, and yeah. then maybe it will. Yeah. I don't think he's that big of a character, though. Like, Lobo doesn't really mean too much to me. Yeah, but Lobo's awesome. He's got that little weird sidekick. Yeah. That's, like, gross. Yeah. And he's got the motorcycle. Yeah. No, he's awesome. But, I like, I don't, like, we're not going to get a Lobo movie, right? I guess if it's Jason we got, Lobo, we got a like... We got a movie with Polka Dot Man. That's true. You're selling me. <laughs> Daredevil is a perfect show. Three, two, one. Disagree. No, it's not. Season two is 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 really not perfect. The all the zombie ninja stuff is really dumb. Yeah, they they got some episodes that are just like, yeah, I don't know. But I like I've said this a couple times. Season one, perfect. Season two, six out of ten. Season three, the first three episodes are really really slow. Everything after that, 15 out of 10. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like halfway through. Like, I've just, I think I just got through the slow stuff. Yes, I think so too. And it's like, the slow stuff is good. Like, it makes sense. Like, I understand why they did it. But mm-hmm. like, you didn't have to do three episodes of no, it. No, you know I agree. I mean? yeah. Like, he, he where he's powerless and this, and yeah. he's just sitting there. In the bottom of the church. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Because yeah. like, once, once it gets good, it's legitimately the best show I've ever seen. I need but to the finish. first three episodes are are so slow that I can't say it's the best show I've ever seen. It's because you haven't seen Stranger Things. I guess so. Kevin Feige (laughs) is a genius. Let me explain my answer when I answer. Three, two, one. Agree. You say disagree. Why do you say disagree? And then I'll explain. I'll say what I have to say okay, while you're on. thinking. I agree, not necessarily because he's made all the right decisions or I attribute all of the MCU success to him or anything like that. Yes. But he is clearly very good at evaluating talent and putting that talent in a role to succeed. I will say the MCU hasn't done that of late. But seeing what the Russo brothers did with Winter Soldier and then being like, they can tackle my magnum opus, Endgame and Infinity War, is, you have to be a genius to do that. Do you? Really? I think Kevin Feige's awesome. End of sentence. Okay. I don't know if he's a genius. Like, like, what, they, what, there's too much bad in the MCU to be like. Yeah, but he's the ma- He's the he is the guy. He like, if you were to attribute all of the success to the, of the MCU to one person, which is an impossible statement. Exactly. But if you were to do it, it would be Kevin Feige, and it's the highest grossing franchise of all time. Like in some capacity, he's got to be a business genius, no? I th- genius is such a hard word. Is Napoleon a genius? Because Napoleon was like a really... My brain is getting fried right now. I don't have answers. You know what I'm saying, though? Because Napoleon was like a genius tactician and like a brilliant commander. Yeah. But then he was a big old idiot invading Russia midwinter. Yeah. And so it's like, it's like does... does Sparks of genius. Does Kevin Feige Kevin has sparks. Feige's, There's like, just too much bad. Lately, though. Like, like... So, are you telling me post Endgame you would call him a genius? No. Like immediately after Endgame? Oh, like like through the Infinity Saga, is he a genius? Mm-hmm. Like like the day after Endgame comes out, you're like reminiscing about how good that movie is. You're going to see it again tonight. Are you thinking, oh, Kevin Feige's a genius? Probably. So you're just saying he's not a genius because of all of his faults that you've seen recently. 
Yes, you're act. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like what? That's why I asked if Napoleon's a genius. He's a daddy. He's on my daddy list. I know he's but a daddy. Like, like, he he's ha- also the original hat guy. He's a gen- He is. He is close to being a genius. Okay. But like genius means like you're just like whoa. Magnus Carlson. You know what I'm saying? He's a genius. He's a genius. I'm shocked you know who that is. The chess guy? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Have you seen the videos where like someone just shows him a picture of a chessboard mid-game and he's like, that's the match from 1992 where I did this. And yeah. And you're like, what? Yeah. No, that's crazy. He's an encyclopedia. It's that's unbelievable. Crazy. It's unbelievable. Magnus Carlson is a daddy. Three, two, one. No. No, come on. No. He's going to play chess with you. And he'll tell you where he's going to put those pieces. There you go. There you go. No, but no. no. <laughs> you know, I had a, I have a roommate that's a national champion at chess. I had one before. Before uh, when really, I, mm-hmm. he had a he got a thirty. He got a perfect score on his ACT. Oh, with thirty six. He got a, a thirty six. That's 36. crazy. And then yeah, he was a national champion. And <laughs> I love him. Did I tell you this? He played shot chess one time. He had a bunch of friends over, and he's playing shot chess, and he would fill his completely up, uh-huh. and he would play his friends who filled it up about that much. And he went, he was like 20 shots in in like less than an hour. Like, it was crazy. Like, he's, like, he could not see you, and he was still beating people. Yeah, it was crazy. What a legend. No, he was a legend. What and then he played name? me in Super Smash, and it was the only time I could beat him. <laughs> oh, that's great. What yeah. was his name? His name's Logan. Shout out Logan. Shout out Logan, that's dude. That's incredible. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Was the better Quicksilver? Three, two, one. Pretty easy for the both of us, right? Probably. You don't love, you notoriously don't love the The X-Men Quicksilver scenes. They don't make any sense. But he is great in the role, Evan Peters. He is better than Aaron Taylor Johnson. I love Aaron Taylor Johnson, especially in comic book movies. He's a perfect kick-ass. He's so good in those movies. He's going to be a great Craven. He's too small. But he is a great he's actor. Obviously, small. he's very likable in Bullet Train. Yeah, people love him in Bullet Train. Yeah. What What are their names? Tangerine. Lemon, what is it? Melon or Lemon? Lemon, Melon. I and don't know. Tangerine. Tangerine's one of them. You like the meme where he jumps on the train and he has to like get back in? Yeah. It's like, get in this train and it'll take you back to the day before you met her or something. He like jumps on the train. Yeah, 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 yeah. I relate to those. Because you're alone and single and you wish yeah. you made decisions differently? Yeah. That makes sense. Screen... Jump on the train. This is an interesting one. This was my favorite suggestion. I'm just worried that you're not going to be able to answer it. Screen crush Easter egg videos are better than new rock stars Easter egg videos. Three, two, one. Agree. No. I'm a screen crush guy. I'm a new rock star guy. Ryan Airy's my f- man. Freaking No. I haven't watched either in a long time, but I do remember watching New New Media Rockstar. I do. I haven't watched Screen Crush in a long time, but WandaVision, dude, all over that. Loki, all over that. I you, were, actually, you were eating that up? I'm telling you, I've never seen a new Rockstar video in my life. I know that's crazy. I just, like, I... I'm Guess what? Be, You're, I'm revoking your nerd card. I know. I, I You know, back in the day, I, I had a YouTube channel. Uh-huh. I, yeah, I, yeah. I still do. I yeah, don't, I don't yeah. know if you know this Millions about me. subscribers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And back in the day, what, like when I used to like make videos and I was like happy with my life, I would just kind of make whatever I wanted. I made a S- Captain America Civil War trailer breakdown Easter egg video. Yeah. Where like I broke it down because of a new Meteor Rockstar video and it inspired me. Wow. It didn't, Did... it didn't do well. Oh, that sucks. Of course. No, I think I made back in the day. Didn't no. Well. Okay. I actually like legitimately, I mean, no disrespect because I know that they make like the best content in the world that everybody loves new rock stars. Yeah. I had never heard of them until I moved here. Yeah, well, you had never heard of Markiplier or PewDiePie. Or but but Markiplier and PewDiePie. Or David like, Dobrik. Like, or... I'm a nerd. Like, I watch nerd YouTube. I know who Mr. Sunday Movies is. I know who Chris Stuckman is. Like, I know who... I don't know any of those guys. Yeah, like, that's... So that's the difference. Like, I know who Screen Crush is. Tim the Tapman is a great YouTuber. I don't know Three, who that is. Three, two, one. I have no idea who that is. Sad. I'm sorry. Nick Merckx. Jinxie. I... Know who Jinxie is. He's white. He's a streamer. Yeah. How do I know who he because is? Because I quoted him one time and people commented about it. Copper. So we're, so in, we're copper. in copper. Yes. Okay. Bad yeah. aim. Bad aim. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Um, nerds like the Escape Pod podcast boys deserve to be bullied. 
Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah. Freaking. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We, we suck sometimes. And I have a terrible shot in basketball. I have a terrible haircut. You have. Y- yes. You're what? alone. You're going to die alone. Yeah. You're a virgin. You, you have a hole in your chest. You're right. I've got huge. My neck is really long. My facial hair is terrible. You have. You have. Uh, you're the biggest hater on the internet. I am the biggest hater. So you're, a, I, you're a hypocrite. So I deserve to be hated. And it would be hypocritical of me to not like being hated. Absolutely. Like I don't. I. I I, we're gonna get demonetized for saying this or something. I think bullying's a good thing. I think bullying's important. Bullying is very important. But if you're bullying somebody for no reason and they have no defense, fuck you. Yeah, don't be mean. Don't be mean. But be mean. There's, yeah. There's a little. There's a gray area in there. That's where you operate. Yes. <laughs> also, bully your Great friends. Movie, by the way. What? Um. No. Uh. First of all, bully bullying your, your friends. Bully your friends is the most important. Thing is ever. The most yes. important. And then, yeah, people on the internet are just going to bully you. Like, you have to be prepared for that. You know what I mean? Um, but that doesn't... And people in real life are going to bully you. And, and and your parents will tell you. like when you're getting... Your parents are going to bully you. Absolutely. But when you're in school... <laughs> they might leave you. When you're in school... Unbelievable. <laughs> when you're in school and you're getting bullied, your parents are going to be like, it'll be fine once you get older. No. No. You're always going to get bullied. But that's f- Okay. Like what you like. Did you get bullied growing up? Yes. Me too. Dude. Are you kidding me? Yes. You know how many times I got called gay? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I swapped schools. I swapped schools in ninth grade. And I came into a school that was like, I went from like a private Christian school uh-huh. to another private Christian school. But this one was like a little more close to being a public school. There were a lot more kids that were like not as stuck up. Mm-hmm. And, um, I came in in ninth grade, and I was the acting, flamboyant, mm-hmm. Jim Carrey looking, mag- magician mm-hmm. that didn't care what anyone thought about him. Yeah. And the grade above me, their whole like had all the guys that thought they were too cool. Right. Their entire purpose in life was call this guy gay. Yeah. <laughs> like like. All the other grades liked me, like the seniors liked me, and the seniors would defend me against the 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 sophomores. Yeah, but like, dude, the sophomores hated me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was, I I could if I, if I had a nickel for every time I got called weird and gay in middle school and high school, I'd be a very rich man. But that's important. That's character development. Aren't yeah. you a better man for it? Yeah, absolutely. I was depressed a little bit every once in a while. Continue to bully us. We really don't care. We encourage it. Like it's, and, but it, it gets to you every once in a while. Yes, of course, because eventually it will. Like, and like every once in a while, someone will just find that one if thing. You keep dude. beating me. Like, yeah, eventually, like, yeah, I'm going to get knocked down and not get up. But then I get No, over. you're going to get up. You're going to get up. I get over it pretty quickly, even when I'm upset. Like, the Hayden Christensen thing was the worst one because I really felt bad. <laughs> I felt like I did yeah. something wrong. But yeah, yeah, of course, you know. Uh, you know, another person that does this full time saying that I shouldn't be allowed to do this full time. Yeah, that, that bothered me. But, you know, what are you going to do? Bullying, it's okay. Until it's not. Bullying can result in positive things. It can also result in very negative things. Right, exactly. So it's just got to, you just got to be careful. Gray area. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. That's something important. Be nice to the people you bully. That's really important. Are we making any sense right now? Probably not. It can lead to very bad things, which is terrible, awful. I have experienced that wildly firsthand. Like I know. Yeah, you know the story. Like I'm not even gonna tell it. Yeah. Like I, I like I think it's like, very, very important. So it can lead to very bad things, but also having someone like be praised all their life for like everything they ever do can lead to you being a complete a hole and yeah. weirdo that doesn't know how to operate in, yes. in the real world. So also true. Look at who I'm sitting next to. Unbelievable. <laughs> Be nice. I love you guys. Ryan Gosling mm-hmm. was the highlight of Barbie. We can't say that. Three, two, one. Disagree. disagree. You can't say the male in the Barbie movie was the highlight. Yeah. I don't know. I like. I, I think that like I see it kind of often that like people are like Ken carried and I, I just don't agree with that. Do you think like, I'm just Ken should have won the thing? No. The Billie Eilish song is better. Hmm. And maybe um, a hot take. The Dua Lipa song is better. I think the Dua Lipa song is hard. Dance. 
kiss the night away. That one's hard. Come on. You don't like that one? Okay. Ken's great, but like, you know, there's a lot of other stuff in that movie. Yep. Like, have- like, like Will Ferrell. Like, okay. all, like yeah. all the other guys. Like <laughs> the horses. Uh, yeah, the horses. And the cars. And the watches. And, and the, the coats. The do- Dojo Mojo Casa House. The Avengers Endgame battle was too much and would have benefited from being a smaller scale. Three, two, one. Thank you. Dude, you scared me for a second. I don't... Like, there are so many people that that battle means the f- world to them mm-hmm. that, like, how do you change that? It's not my favorite thing in the world. Like I've said before, I like the Infinity War Thanos moment better. Mm-hmm. But the... Like, the endgame battle's great. Okay. I was waiting for some bullcrap to come out of your mouth. No bullcrap for me. Are you, okay, you have the reins for endgame. You changing anything in that battle? Not in that battle, no. I... Watch it. I may make it s- slightly Watch. shorter. Nope. T- take it back. No, you're not. Say no. No, no, no. No. No, no. I've got a question. No. If you could add a sad scene... For Natasha in that movie, are you doing it? There was a sad scene. Cause... Hulk throws a bench. Okay. That's fair. Does she have any family? Yeah, us. Yeah. My heart shatters. Yeah, okay. Done. Tell me you wouldn't make the end game battle shorter. Tell me. I need to hear these words. You Like, they could have cut some of the stuff in there. I need to hear these words. All right, yeah, they shouldn't make it shorter. There's some great moments I don't even there. know who you are. Dude, it's... That's great. The... Activated to kill is so good. The Thor's hammer, Black Panther showing up. Yep. You're cutting the female scene. Absolutely not. <laughs> the A4 scene. My mom, my mom doesn't care. My mom doesn't care about any of that. Yeah. Uh, it, when it happened in Infinity War, she didn't care. When it happened in Endgame, she was like, oh, there's the girl scene. And like, they start all sharks showing up. And she goes, woo! <laughs> so sick. Oh, here's something. Would you change... Captain Marvel isn't the lead of the women's lead. Would you change that? Would you make it somebody less powered like Nebula? No. Okay. Because there's the argument that like, how are you going to get through all those guys? She just went through the f- ship. Yeah. You know, like she can do that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if it's Nebula, how are you going to get through all those guys? Then that would make a little bit more sense. If you do this at me one more time, I'm launching myself across this table. Like the dude with the judge? <laughs> Literally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy jumping at the judge uh-huh. and saying, ah. Bitch? Yeah, well, he says, F that. Fuck that, bitch. Yeah, that is me at you every podcast episode. I wish I could do that. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to have to clean up afterwards. It would be a disaster. Did you see the when he appears before the judge the next time and she like lists off everything that he's got going for him now? No. Dude, she goes on for like two minutes. She throws everything at him. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> That's she was like uh, endangering a judge, like attempted assault, assault, like <laughs> aggravated assault. It was just like. That's so funny. Yeah, it's brutal. I saw a picture. They put him in a muzzle. That's crazy, dude. I mean, the fact that like, <laughs> it looked like, dude, it's like a scene from a comedy movie who's like, yo, I'm like really changed. I'm like excited to like get back into the real world and like be a positive influence. She's like, nah. And he's like, ah, shoot. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> like, he launches himself. Dude, it's so The funny. memes are incredible. Yeah. Top Gun 3 should kill Tom Cruise. <laughs> Are they making a Top Gun 3? Yes. He just signed like a several picture deal with one of the studios. They're making a Top Gun 3. They're doing a sequel oh. to Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, he, he signed Blood. a thing that was like, that lets him just like make movies. Yeah. No, it's a huge contract. More of that, please. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one. You want them to kill him? I feel this way about Tom Cruise that I feel about James Bond and Michael Myers and Batman. Don't ever kill him. I cannot believe they killed Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. That one bothers me the most. I can't believe they killed James Bond. That one bothers me a little, but not as much as the Michael Myers one. It's his whole thing. You always think he said he's not. That's the thing. And I know it's Halloween ends, and they're like really trying to like bookmark it and say this is done. First of all, it's a terrible movie. Second of all, terrible decision. Don't kill Michael Myers. Frick. Don't kill Tom Cruise. 
You think they're going to kill him in Mission Impossible? That they should not do. I don't want him to do that. Okay. But you, you're fine like, with Maverick dying? I feel like they're the same guy. They're not even close to the same guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's it's Ethan fun. Hunt and freaking, what's it? Maverick. Maverick? They're the same guy. He's going against the grain. Am I blowing up a ship by yeah. taking it to Mach 6 or whatever? Yeah. That was awesome. What, a great, what, a, what a great opening so scene. That whole movie's great. Next time, ask before you do that. Yes, sir. What's this? A petition to lower the flight deck. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. <clears throat> How'd you feel about that? I felt good. Okay. Jazzed, if you will. If you will. If you will. Shall we try out a new, uh, a newer segment? Yeah. So I've got five situations for you. This is to hate or not to hate. I'm going to give you a bunch of facts for these situations. You feel free to ask me questions about the facts. I do not have all of the facts. This is not will they survive, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, but it's your decision whether or not you think the person involved deserves the hate they're getting or not. So we're bullying people. Yes. Very important. We are pro-bullying podcast. And now Instagram is going to demonetize us. <laughs> do you know I'm I'm demonetized on Instagram right now? I do. We talked about it yesterday. On the Patreon or on the normal? I don't remember. Well, let's just move on. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say one name and you're going to, I know your opinion already. Okay. Hit, hit me. Joe Coy. Hate. Hosting. Yeah. He, I, I just <clears throat> every joke did not land. He wasn't funny. He wasn't funny. Do you, how do you feel about the people that are like, he was rude and offensive, like, and not funny? I don't have a problem with a host being rude and offensive if yeah. they're funny. Yeah. Um, I thought the jokes were like, just, they're just bad. And and I totally understand people being offended by some of them. I actually thought the Taylor Swift one wasn't that bad. I thought that was kind of funny. The, he, he was making fun of like the NFL for cutting to her so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't feel like he was making fun of her. I thought he was making fun of like the NFL for like, taking advantage of her at being at games. Yeah, That's yeah. how I took it. Um, but yeah, all the rest of the jokes are just sad. And he like really tried to like save it and he didn't. No. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. No. I've never... That's the only thing I've ever seen of him. And yeah, it was me too. it was actively bad. So I don't I don't it was plan, terrible. I don't plan on ever watching him again. No, never. So yeah, I definitely understand people not liking that. Yeah. Bad performance. And I don't know if like it was actually him writing all the jokes or if it was the writer's team. Like regardless. I saw one of the writers make a TikTok. It was seemingly damage control because they were credited as a writer. And they were like, This was embarrassing for me. These are the jokes that I I wrote. This is how Joe Coy butchered them. Yeah, did you see like it was another awards ceremony and someone made fun of him. It was like, it was, it was a woman making jokes and she was like, that was my writer's team or something. And everyone was like, <laughs> yeah. I just like cut into all the people's reactions to his jokes. And like, no one was laughing. Yeah, that it, sucks. Like it does take balls to get up there and try to like be an MC like that. And maybe because like I'm an entertainer and I've gotten a lot of hate before. I do feel sorry for him a little bit. Yeah. But, like, if you get up there and you say that kind of stuff, you're going to have to deal with some back backlash. And that's... Absolutely. So, no, I don't think his career should be over. But, like, yeah, boo Joe Coy. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay. that, and that performance. All right. So, to hate. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about this one. I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do here. Okay. Okay. Selena Gomez, star of Wizards of Waverly Place. She's a star of my heart. A musician. Okay, you are a fan of her. Well, I've got some good news for you. Her, her current boyfriend is this gentleman named. That's good news. She has a boyfriend. For cute. Wait. Okay. His name is Benny Blanca. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. It's a terrible name, dude. I think Benny Blanca is an awesome. That guy. sounds like a cartoon character. <laughs> sounds like a Phineas and Ferb character. He is one of the most single most successful ghostwriters of all time. He wrote a lot of songs that you like. He's written a lot of the Katy Perry hits. Firework. Firework. Um, hot and cold. Roar? I don't know if he did Roar. You like Roar? I do like Roar. You like Katy Perry? I do like Katy Perry. I love Katy Perry. He did TikTok by Kesha. You remember that yeah. one? Yeah. He's done a lot of big songs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he is not the most good looking guy in the world. Excellent. That's why I said good news for you. Because she's clearly settling a little bit. So you're saying... At least that's what the internet is doing. And so the internet has started a bullying campaign. 
And they've started Come on. to bully Selena Gomez for her boyfriend. Because he is so much uglier than her. That is what they are saying. And so it has led to her defending him on social media. Being like, I'm proud to be with him. Yeah. And it has caused more bullying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So I'm not asking you if she deserves the hate. Because obviously we disagree on that. But what do you think overall of the situation? Well, yeah, my answer is to not hate. You should. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, Rachel's clearly dating down on you. Yes. Right. So, like, you agree that? Absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 like, I, yeah. I, Rachel is stunning, and I am obviously not. Any girl I get with is going to be dating down. I'm sure. I mean, look at your haircut. Exactly. Uh, and in Benny Blanco's defense, and something like, does anybody think Kylie Jenner? Like, had two kids with Travis Scott because Travis Scott is the most good-looking guy in the world. Like, there are a million examples of... What about Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande and Kim Kardashian and now Madeline Klein and uh, 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 Emily Ratajkowski? Like, all these women. Like, they are all better looking than him. But Pete Davidson brings stuff to the table. Betty Block is one of the... Selena Gomez is an aspiring musician. He is one of the most successful people in the music industry ever. Like... He doesn't have to be the most good-looking guy to be on her level in one way, right? So you think he brings stuff to the table? I think that, like, everybody that's like, you know, looks are clearly not the most important thing to her. You know, I don't mean to call Benny Blanco an ugly f- but he's an ugly f- Like... You literally just said it. That's pretty mean. I know, but... Sorry. But he's outrageously successful. I'm sure he's hilarious. You like th- You think I would... You obviously think I would bring more to the table. For her. Then Benny Blanco? Yeah. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> He's really good. Thank you. So, obviously, it's a to not hate. Yeah, I kind of knew that going in, but I did want Shout that. out Benny. Stop Asian hate. There you go. Um, It'd be really cool if he was Asian. He might be. He's ethnic in what? some capacity. What kind but of? he is white. Then what the frick are you It's just... weird. He's like... He could be Filipino. He's Latin in some capacity. I don't know. I'm going to look him up and see if he's ugly. He's not the best Benny looking guy in the Blanco. world. Benny Blanco. Yeah. No, the, he, the first picture of him is not bad. Uh, it's, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Benny Blanco ethnicity. <laughs> right? See. He is racially ambiguous. Blanco, who is Sicilian and Jewish. Stop Asian hate. You think I'm hotter than him? I do. But I think no. you bring a lot less to the table. I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a single picture of this guy in a Spider-Man hoodie. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, all right. Here's the next one. You're going to love this one. To hate or not to hate. The Madam Web trailer. N- to not hate. Frick you and frick the internet and frick you. So you're, yeah, go, please. Okay, yes, the first scene looks like a fan trailer. The rest of it, like, oh, the exposition. Yeah, it's a little too on the nose. It's a trailer. Like, they're explaining stuff. Like, get over yourself. Like, legitimately, like, take the stick that's so far rammed up your a-hole and just pull it out for a second. Like, it's a trailer. It's not as good as the Madam, the the the, the, the Fury Road trailer. The, the, the Mad the Max Furiosa, Furiosa trailer. Yeah. Like, there are other trailers that are better. Yes, but... It's a movie with a trailer. Like it's it's fun. That is an interesting concept. The way they show the the future and the 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 now and the and the they they show the 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 costumes for a second and the the villain looks interesting. Like just because there's a there's a line about in the forest with spiders and some of it doesn't look as good as like John Wick. People are like, this is gonna be the worst movie in the world. How about you calm down for a second? You need to calm down. I do or the internet? You agree with the internet, so both. Okay. Internet, calm down. I, I will say, I think it's a too hate. Doing Ezekiel without Peter Parker makes no sense. And casting a guy that looks exactly like John Bernthal with long hair was also a weird choice. And then I agree with everything the internet is saying. The dialogue, it's... I mean, if that's how exposition-y the trailer is, can you imagine the movie? And uh, obviously, it does look like a fan film at times. But I'm very excited to see it, because that cast just calm down 
Like, yeah, like it's it's like it could have been better, sure. But like people are like, this is the worst thing in the world. It's like let me. It's unbelievably bad. No, it's not. Okay. So to not hate. To not hate. To hate. Uh here's one that I'm pretty passionate about. I'm gonna have to explain this situation to you. Do you know who Simone Biles is? Yeah. Have you heard about the drama with her or no? New drama? Yes. Let's hear it. Good. I'm glad you don't know about this. She is married to a gentleman named Jonathan Owens. He is a safety for the Green Bay Packers. He went on a podcast, a very... Is that a player? Yes. So that's not like security? No, no. Like a safety... He's on the defense. I'm kidding. Yeah, no. Okay. And he is very handsome. And they're married. Unlike Vinny Blanco. Yes. They are married and... He went on a podcast, a very popular podcast in the sports world, and she went on it with him. And they go, how did you bag Simone Biles? And he says, how did she bag me? Did. What'd she say? And then proceeds to tell the story of how they started dating. They were on one of these high profile Mm -hmm. dating apps like Raya, one of those. Yeah. She liked him. Got on his Instagram, started liking all of her picture, all of his pictures. He says he had no idea who she was, but he saw that she had a lot of followers, so he's like, "All right, cool." And that's how they met, and then they started dating, and eventually got married. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he fell in love as well. And throughout that interview and other interviews, he is seemingly very much downplaying her success in order to upplay him. And so a lot of people, it's become a trend, especially on TikTok, to call him Mr. Simone Biles and say how much worse he is than his superstar wife and how ridiculous it is that he downplays her. With that information, I assume your answer would be he deserves the hate. I I, want your answer here because I'm going to add context that... I would, I, I would, I would need to see the clips. Like, if that one clip is the only one, like, and he's like kind of being sarcastic, then I can, I would say to not hate. Like, I can imagine being on the podcast with my wife and be like, "Hey, you mean how did she bag me?" And no, like, no, no, he's not sarcastic. I will tell you that. Yeah, then he's an a hole. Like, and it also depends on like her reaction. Like, are they like bantering with each other, or like is it just straight? So here, her reaction is the reason why I feel because I have a controversial take on this. Okay. I am not to hate. I am in the not. I don't think he deserves the hate quote because in that clip when he says, "How did she bag me?" They cut to her and she has the biggest f- smile of her life. Like she is so proud to have bagged him. And every single time he's going viral on the internet to hate, she posts a picture from their wedding of her grinding on him, being like unbothered. This is my mood right now. I love my husband. Y'all aren't changing. J-. Yeah, yeah. Then. If she doesn't care, like you can say that he is openly being disrespectful about her success. If she doesn't care, they're the married couple. That's for them to figure out. It's not your job to tell Simone Biles that her husband is an asshole. You don't know. Like she is certainly more successful than him. So you don't know how it works in her brain. She might feel like she's emasculating him. What if he has said to her in private, I feel like less of a man being with you. Can we do this? And she loves her husband enough to do that. I mean, that would be pretty stupid. Sure. But again, this is their marriage. And it's all these people that aren't in their marriage. Yeah. It it goes back to like. Telling her she could do better. It annoys me. People being offended on other people's behalf always bothers me. Yeah. Like if it doesn't bother Simone Biles, like it's probably not that big of a deal. And it clearly doesn't. And and a lot of clips like that are very easily taken out of context. Um of him, probably. So, I mean, it just depends. But- I've done a decent amount of research. I really do think he is really downplaying it. But again, like, she keeps saying she's unbothered. Like, she doesn't yeah. care. And then uh, the last one we're doing, which is one I don't think you know about, because I think we would have already talked about this on the podcast. Beast is in the after credit scene for the Marvels. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people have complained about, about the look and the CGI. Yeah, ready? Yeah. For you. Yes. To not hate. Nailed the look. He looks perfect. Yeah. Yes. Maybe the CGI is a little wonky. They're not going to do perfect CGI for an after credit scene. We're never going to see it again. <clears throat> right? Yeah. I think they nailed it. People people just love getting upset. I am people. 
We do it a lot. Okay. We do it a lot. It's our <laughs> yeah, job. It's our job. But there are some times where like people complain about things and I'm like, really? Really? Um, mainly you. You do it a lot. Um, but no, yeah, it looked good. It looked fine. All right. There we go. That is our first official to hate or not to hate segment. I 100% thought there was nothing left in there. You're ridiculous. I really did. You made a huge mess. Oh my gosh. I feel like freaking Solburn, dude. We got some pretty big news recently that I would like to talk about. Officially. Rachel's pregnant? Or semi-officially. We, it seems to have confirmed that we are getting a Star Wars What If yeah. series. And a Mandalorian obviously, movie. Obviously, yeah, Mandalorian movie I'm a lot less interested in. But obviously, give me a minute here. Obviously, we have been clamoring for a Star Wars What If for forever. I just wanted to put in my two cents. Please don't make it the corporate garbage that Marvel's What If is. Don't, you know, I saw a tweet that perfectly exemplifies it. Like, they could do really interesting stuff. Like, what if Obi-Wan turned to the dark side? But instead, it's just going to be, what if Chewbacca had a hat? (laughs) Yeah. Like, you know, that's what they've done with Marvel. Yeah. Do not do that. Yeah. Put Dave Filoni in charge. They've recently said that they love doing Bad Batch so much that they made Tales of the Jedi do Star Wars What If in the Clone Wars animation, put Dave Filoni in charge of it, do serious stuff. Don't give Chewbacca a hat. Don't make Hans... You don't, you don't want Chewbacca to be hat guy, dude? No. Aww. Like, just take it seriously. Please give us... Great stuff. We've been wanting this. This could legitimately be one of the most successful Star Wars projects ever if they do it right. Just please take it seriously. Star Wars, Disney, please just... They take everything seriously. Yeah, but Boba Fett and... They took Boba Fett seriously. Obi-Wan is really bad. They took Obi-Wan seriously. But they did they a really the bad last, job. They, they took Last Jedi seriously. Last Jedi they took correct. Rise of Skywalker seriously. No, they didn't. Disney, has it, Disney hasn't Skywalker's messed up Star terrible. Wars yet. Okay, so oh can you... Oh my gosh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm lying. What do you think about the misogyny in the Star Wars community of late? Yeah. What is it like? What is wrong with people? St- Girls aren't allowed to like Star Wars? Like, like are you out of control? <laughs> like, yeah, what? Like, that's another thing. Is, are like, you out of your mind? People say we, like, sh- like, you know, we get a lot of pod- l- l- comments. They're like, let's start a podcast. This is why yeah, yeah, people yeah, shouldn't yeah, have yeah, podcasts. Yeah. What are you doing? Like, here? that is something, like, you really took time out of your day to care so much and be so offended to come on a podcast and be like, women don't like Star Wars. What? No, it's, it's like, it's, it's crazy and wrong, obviously, hilariously wrong. Like, yeah. some of the biggest Star Wars fans I know are women. Yeah. My mom wasn't a Star Wars fan, but the person that got me into Star Wars, woman. Like, I, I, what is the second Star Wars One New Hope is the second highest grossing movie of all time for when adjusted for inflation, meaning that the second most amount of people to see a movie ever saw Star Wars. You don't think some of those people were women? Yeah. Like, I just like I've you've said a lot of dumb stuff. I've said a lot of dumb stuff. I can't imagine taking the time, effort, and breath in my lungs to say the words "women don't belong in Star Wars." Like, like what an exclusionary like. Like, what kind of life experience would prompt you to the point of being like, like, where you would care if a certain gender liked a fantasy world about space? Yeah, like, like it's what? so <laughs> weird. It's like such a weird fixation. Yeah, it's it doesn't make too much sense. I, I one of the greatest joys of my relationship with my girlfriend is showing her Star Wars because I knew she was gonna love it, and. Like it was a magical experience. Like and and she she'll tell anybody if you ask her her top five favorite movies of all time, New Hope is gonna be in there. Like You think I'll ever be able to share that? Yes. I'm excited to do so. But odds are your wife probably has seen Star Wars. Yeah. You know why? Because women like, like Star, Star Wars. Wars. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We haven't but had if- enough female guests that's something i would like to do this year there's a bunch of women that i would like to have on the podcast uh rachel everin friend of the show i would i'm dying to have her on she's just living down under 
Down under. Uh, 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 Slayers is a is uh, somebody that we recently met who I'm dying to get on the podcast. Uh, but like all of these people, like Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm not gonna let my wife watch Star Wars. Probably. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, uh, definitely not. It's not. That's gross. that's for me. Let let the men enjoy. I'm gonna Star have Wars. a man cave and I'm gonna put lightsabers up and like she's just not even allowed in the room. There's some awesome ships in the sequels. If you could, there's some oh. awesome ships in the sequels. Will you give me that? Yeah, probably. The Kylo Ren shuttle is awesome. It's the black one. It's got the big V wings. The newer X wings are sleeker. I still prefer the original trilogy yeah, X wings. Um, if you had to pick one franchise or one show or one movie type thing to share with your female counterpart, what would it be? Would it be the MCU? Would it be Star Wars? Would it be a TV show? Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars is my favorite franchise. So yeah. it would absolutely be Star Wars. Even Rachel has enjoyed the MCU more than Star Wars overall. There's a lot more content. It's a little bit unfair. But... Um, Definitely she has more favorites from the MCU than Star Wars, so she would say yeah. the thing she's most grateful for is is Marvel. But um definitely Star I I I mean it's the most joy. There's no there's no nothing I would rather share watching a movie with than yeah. my favorite franchise. How about you? What I'm, are you going? I'm not sure. Like MCU is up there. I remember Oh. A girl I was talking to I watched Endgame with. Because uh-huh. she she was in town and we got like but now I know like like, like these, all these experiences that I'm <laughs> missing. Like, I didn't watch No Way Home with a girl. Like, I watched Endgame with a girl that I no longer talk to. Uh, like, after The Last Airbender is up there. I like, was going to say that. But I can't watch that for the first time with a girl. Like, maybe she's never watched it and I could introduce her to it. But That's like, what I'm saying. The show comes out, like, the Avatar Netflix show comes out next month. Like, I'm not going to... No, 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 no. But I'm saying you show it to them. Like, I had seen Star Wars dozens of times, but... I mean, you don't think I'm going to date a girl that's already a big nerd? Maybe, but she, I, I didn't. So uh, maybe I'm projecting. Yeah. Rachel had never seen Star Wars, Marvel, DC, like never a superhero movie. Like, like, so I got to show her all of this. It was yeah. like a ama- It was a yeah. beautiful experience for me. Maybe. Yeah. But there, there's still a lot of life left and a lot of like nerdy stuff that's going to come out. Like the MCU is up there. Star Wars is up there. Avatar is up there. Um, Spider-Man in general is kind of up there, like Spider-Verse, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a favorite Star Wars ship? Like couple? Or like... Spaceship. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant like... Um, I probably do. I'll start naming some of my favorites. Maybe sure. you'll get some inspiration. Classic X-Wing is amazing. That's what, yeah, classic X-Wing is good. Um, I like Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. The advanced one mm-hmm. with the curves. That's mm-hmm. nice. It's a little long for me. I think I prefer an Interceptor. That's what I was about to say. Interceptor's pretty cool too. TIE Interceptors are awesome. The, the, the pointy ones. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. They cut you like a knife. Yeah. That shit is hard. Yeah. Uh, I, Star Destroyer is my favorite ship of all time. Mm-hmm. Just because the opening shot is the classic yep. Star Destroyer. I, I just, I love a classic Star Destroyer so much. Um, underrated pick. Easily probably my second favorite Star Wars ship. It's a prequel ship. It's the ARC-170. It is the precursor to the X-Wing. It's the long one, but it's got flaps that open up. It's like a... Yeah. You see it a lot in Revenge of the Sith. It's the... It's the one that they're flying at the start? At the start, they're in the yellow and red Jedi Starfighters, and the clone ships around them are ARC-170. I was, I was going to say the Jedi Starfighters are like... Um, it's not like necessarily visually pleasing, but they're a little like... Um, uh, what hyperdrive rings hard are cool? I think they're awesome. Yeah, I love. I that was the first Lego set that I like pleaded for that I desperately wanted was it was a blue Jedi interceptor from Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith with a hyperspace ring and it came with Kit Fisto. What do you think about the Slave One? Hard, hard, hard. Do May- you prefer Jangos or Bobas? Probably Jangos. I kind of do too. It's kind of weird, but Django's awesome. Yeah. Also, mainly because you get those depth charges or whatever. You get those. Yeah. You do get those with Boba's though because of Mando in yeah. season two. Yeah. He blows up that Tie Fighter. It's so it's sick. sick. Dude, it's when sick. I it's saw sick. that come out, I was like, Oh my I, god! I played. I can't remember what uh, chat people viewers helped me. I I played a video game. I think it was GameCube, maybe, that you could 
drop those. Or you were fighting against someone that could drop those. And that was fun. What is this? That's an uh, 170. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The clones fly yeah. these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. That's the type of ship that shoots down Plo Koon. Mm-hmm. They're all over Revenge of the Sith. And they're in the later seasons of the Clone Wars. But yeah, like, dude, Slave One's an all-time ship. Do you, do you like Mando's ship? It's like... I love the Razor Crest, it's all right. and I like the Naboo Starfighter. I like the yellow ones more than his silver one, yeah. but I do like his silver one, and the silver one is very him. I love the Razor Crest. You don't love the Razor Crest? I think it's all right. It just It's like a big, fat Republic gunship, it looks like, and I love the Republic gunship. You drop all the troops. Those are sick. Dude, there's a lot of great Star Wars ships. That is something that, like, you can argue with me as a nerd, nerd-to-nerd combat, like this podcast, you can argue to me that the MCU is better at this, better at this, better better actors, better this, better that, whatever. You can argue whatever you want for the MCU. Something I will never entertain. Ship designs. The only good ships in the MCU are in the Guardians movies. Yeah, Guardians. All the planes, the helicarrier is kind of a boring design. The big Thanos I, ships. I like the helicarrier. The big Thanos ships look stupid. And the yeah, donuts what... are also stupid. Donuts are kind of stupid. What do you think about Ronin ship? The like long, like sp- twisted. Dumb. One. I kind of like that. No. It's what, do you, what do you think about Thanos. what do you think about the um, Star Blasters? The 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 Xandarian, not Xandarian. Yes, Xandar. Yeah, Xandar. Yeah, that, the yellow that, ones that connect the stars. They're cool. I like That's those. what I said. The Guardian ships are cool because I like the Milano as well. The Milano's good. I think the Bowie's ugly. I like the Milano better. Yeah. Me too. Pretty good. Pretty good Star Wars takes there. Nice work. I thought think? you were going to ask me to rate your Star Wars opinions overall out of 10. Oh, we'll do that real quick. Okay. Um, you do that as well. Um, here's the thing. Your hatred for Last Jedi is so popular that I can't dock you too many points for it. Yeah. You're defending, you defend Rise of Skywalker more than anybody else I know. That docks you points. Sure. Um, but... Your top two is the correct yeah, yeah, top two. That. And that is so important to me. And you like the shows that you're supposed to like and you don't like the shows you're not supposed to like. Yeah. Like you you don't like Obi-Wan. You like it more than me. Yeah. But you don't like it. You it's... like Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. You like the original 2002 Clone Wars. You yeah. like it a lot more than me, which is great. Yeah. Um, you haven't seen Rebels. You haven't seen Andor. Mm-hmm. You like Tasoka. My dad's watching Rebels and he's like, this show is great. Yes. It's just the filler... It's more than the Clone Wars filler, and the good stuff in Rebels isn't as good as the great stuff in Clone Wars, and it's more filler, is my issue with Rebels. But I don't have any problem with people that love Rebels. Out of 10. I'm going to give you a 7.3. I'm giving you like a 6. Unbelievable. The, 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 the defense of The Last Jedi and the stupidness of... Like the, the lightsaber fights and the hate on the prequels a little bit too much, uh, knocks you down a lot. Yeah, but I think you're still like overall positive. But here's to another year of arguing about Star Wars. Thank you guys for an amazing first year. It's been unbelievable. Give us like out of ten, another out of ten, rank our first year. I'm gonna give it a, a ten out of ten. Yeah, I I couldn't be happier with where we're at. I couldn't be more grateful to you guys. You guys are the freaking the best in the world. Do you have like a quick like? I love you so much. Top couple memories. Yeah. What What's your fit? My favorite memories of the podcast are all not everybody else's favorites. Okay, like, let's hear it. Like everybody's favorite is Charles Mont suck, suck my, my balls. balls from episode six. Yeah. I just adore episode ten, the Straw Hat Goofy Goofy episode where I have a take I don't want to say. I've never said it before. I think I don't like Raiders. <gasps> I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. I think I, I like I like Crystal Skull better. <laughs> <laughs> it's so so funny. Yeah. I love. There's so many you moments that I I love. There's a you moment in in uh in episode three where where you're where it's the Shang Chi bit and you know you you laugh like the monkey and you're like ah! afterwards it's after the famous clip like. There's so many. I mean, the recent one with Danny Mata where you're just screaming, who cares? You, you do. do. That's a bar. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, the the great moment with the Dominic, when with Christian, the Dominican Spider-Man, where, suck my balls. 
that's incredible. I, yeah. I there's so many so many great moments, but all of them have to do with you. There's so many little moments every episode where there's the episode episode 14. I can't remember what I'm talking about, but I'm in the dark side shirt and the heat, heat the brown heat hat, and I say something, and you're like. Hmm? <laughs> so what are yeah. some of your favorites i mean charles munt suck my balls is yep. up there the recent rage on the danny mata episode yep. i really like the christian dominican spider-man episode yeah i think the banter in that one was really really good yeah. on the patreon i like the patreon yeah. episode where i'm loopy yeah, oh, yeah and i'm sticking stuff in my mouth and yeah oh, yeah um i oh the uh the spider-verse episode where we both get emotional was pretty solid yeah that was a good one. And then um, just any time like we interact with fans, I love them so much. I love our Discord. Like if we're just talking like overall concepts of what I love about the podcast, like I love the Patreon. I love the Discord. I love the community. I love um, I love the memes you guys make. I love how funny you guys are. I love that y'all love talking about movies with each other on the Discord. Um, I love that like little ecosystems pop up and like we've we i love the fact that we've helped other people become friends you know what i mean yes we have some people that met through us that the, are strongly considering moving, moving in, in together. together we would be responsible for a house yeah that's that's crazy. crazy yeah so i love that so shout out to our first year and uh it's only up from here we love you guys thank you so much for being awesome a clink to you at home best community ever <laughs>